your glory is turned to dust and all about you the wind kicks it up this is for you this is a lament for what you see a war cry for new reality can't you see past this moment maybe you're blinded by brick shapes like air a horrible trick telling you nothing is there perhaps the air you can't bear to breathe is not air at all is your mouth on concrete as your eyeball is to wall you know air is supposed to bring life breathe in lungs fill exhale trees drink air is space forgive this simplicity isn't space the grace to move through the intangible and touch actuality so what demon is it the carves from hell saws from hades a wall and in it places a door to absence makes it seem like air like any other air except you're the failure for getting there becoming stuck not pushing through what mocks you mimics away into freedom by closing down all roots what poisons your green shoots nestled in the soil waiting for their season what commits this treason it starts with the mind because the body wants to live you know death comes to us all but to fall headlong in there shoved by despair it leaves a tear in the fabric of the place you left too many people have died now pushed on the door swallowed the void enough until it killed them poison for oxygen wards clogged around the organs vital valiant doing all they can to strive to be alive and then the mind came said life is a game show and you have lost this atomic bomb of thought this chernobyl plane rolled out for you to breed kills all thoughts that would rise from other parts no ren for the mother in the heart no live a soy for what the father felt a blood flow through vein for the sibling who stands alone where you once stood a numb blocks out the childhood games and laughs and pinches in the dark and fights and anything that would bring you into the light because the very thought that you could be present on a not is enough to sigh them down if you do not have a mother or a father or a brother or a sister or an auntie or an uncle or a friend a friend no too this is not about other people and how they care for you not about the ripple of doom shockwave sent out as you violently cross the threshold although being no doubt voids create and who knows what your death would birth what terrible nothing this void is a thing that was born from the creation of empty space and hollow words they only ever existed to sell you something that does not exist. You don't need me to tell you humans are creative. We build things, machines and structures, rules and hierarchies, societies, communities. And then we start to measure worth by who we are in these and all ways which we comparatively contextualize, minimalize ourselves. Are you inhaling this? The noxious gas with every word and image that sharps into view to say it isn't worthwhile being you. No passerby would clock behind your smile the knowledge that there is something you can't get past and you're not sure that you will last. The sea turns silver and green. Your breath draws in salt air. The breeze is there and not. Grass grows, bends to your touch. Soul on earth. Soul on earth. Stand in the world for a moment, as is. You know, the breeze through leaves, a shade of shadow on the moon. Two boards, a wind buffeted sky. We are part of that. You and I. Deep and sense filled the world is color and pigment, sorrow and joy. How to bear such sadness when it hits you, how to speak through clamps that squeeze you. How to allow the mind to recede, stay alive in a body and recede. How to replant yourself on this earth and know you will be tended. You will grow. But how? But how? This is not something that has happened to you alone. Many have pressed up against this solid void and held it close before they spoke and railed and rallied and shunned the void and held tight to beauty in the smallest sense. 
self-conscious vision, half embarrassed, hearing a blackboard sing. Noting the color of yellow on a lemon skin, the drops of rain, jewel turned in sun, making webs once hid illuminate. These are small things you would not conceive to hate, and yet perhaps somewhere once or more times than that you felt small and in hate crept, pushing you in steps to doors in the void, and here you find yourself, eye blocked up by door unseen, as if you've reached the end of how you can dream. This is when you must scream and shout. Take off the silent shroud that says you must not speak too loud about these doors that stand hard stone. If you have the great fortune to have a cloud pass overhead, look at it instead. If you chance to be standing on solid ground, feel the weight beneath your feet. These are magnets for your soul. A sense of presence and the lure of absence will screech back. All you have is lack. All you bring is naught. When you go, your body will not be sought. Nature abhors a vacuum and the feeling is mutual. Don't let the trick of nothing pull you out of real living. Turn, put the void at your back, and while well, its rage will be deafening, it will not stop you noticing. There is a dearth of this way of seeing, but there is much to be seen. We are rare things of beauty, individualized holders of glory, pulling out the threads within to make a story of how we walk on earth. Keep walking. <laughs>